Before this video starts, I just want to point out that I now actually live stream daily on Twitch. I'm sure you guys all do have Twitch or do just watch some other streamers over there. So I thought I'd just let you guys know that I am now streaming every single day. So what I want you guys to do is to quickly go into the description of this video. I will link my channel right at the top where you guys can go and drop me a follow. It literally takes two seconds. If you guys are maybe on your phone right now, maybe you're on a computer, you can literally just load it up in a new tab and quickly just drop a follow. It's all much appreciated. And the content which you don't see on my YouTube channel, you will see over there live. So I just thought I'd quickly plug that. Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about optimal keybinds within Fortnite. And also, I'm going to be telling you guys what I believe are the most optimal keybinds you guys can be using for Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 2. I know I did just, in fact, make a video, like a whole Fortnite settings video, going through my whole settings. But the video was kind of long, so this video is going to be solely dedicated just towards my keybinds, which I only showed at the end of that video, so I'm sure many people did not see. But trust me guys, you will want to stick to the end and take these on board and if you have been looking to change your binds these will be the binds you will want to change to i will explain obviously more about that if you guys do go ahead to enjoy the video you know what to do drop a like for me subscribe with post notifications turned on therefore you never miss an upload just like this on the channel dropping a like really does support the video probably a lot more than you think it takes literally two seconds so i would appreciate if you guys could do that remember code fetch in the phone that i am shop you can send me proof on my instagram of you guys using my code for a shout out in one of my videos so the only shout out i actually have for today is a guy called Jim King. Your name is on screen. Shout out to you for using my creator code. But with that all said and out the way, let's hop straight into the video. First of all, I'm going to talk about why optimal keybinds are so good and what the term optimal keybinds actually means. The term optimal actually means best or most favorable. So if you have two or maybe a hundred options, the most optimal option will be the best out of maybe those two or a hundred options. So if I have to decide between having my edit key as either E or G, if the benefits from having it as G outweigh the benefits of me actually using that on E, where E could then be used for a different bind, which would then give a ripple effect onto all of my other keybinds and make everything else more accessible. That means choosing G would then be more optimal and would be the better decision. That is just an example. Also, may I point out when choosing optimal keybinds, you have to really take in and consider what you really want to prioritize. So if you want to prioritize your general movement and keyboard movement, so your WASD, and basically working on that, you want to have most of your build keybinds away from your keyboard and potentially on your mouse or on side buttons, which many gaming mouses will have. This will then allow you to only focus your keyboard just for movement, where then with just reworking some simple binds, you can then dedicate your whole keyboard to solely movement and dedicate your mouse to solely just building and the more mechanical side to the game but on the other hand maybe you want to prioritize building you would then need to decide whether you prefer building on a mouse and whether that's easier for you or if you would prefer to have all your building binds on your keyboard you're most likely always going to use WASD or maybe ESDNF for your movement which some people actually do but then you can use other keys such as Q, E, R, the keys T, F, G, any other keys which are central to your movement for potential building if you do like building on a keyboard and then your mouse can then be solely used just to basically move around your character and then you won't really have to do anything on the mouse leaving you then to just focus solely on your keyboard or you may instead want to have all your building just on your mouse which i actually do so you'd have the main things such as a wall and stair on the side buttons to your mouse and then have everything else just on your keyboard this is probably the easiest option and many people want to stay with this it's kind of the perfect balance it isn't too confusing and it's probably the best thing to do to optimize your keybinds kind of killing two birds with one stone by using this so if you're not yet using the side buttons on your mouse if you have them or you maybe don't have a mouse with side buttons for things such as your wall and stair for building you really should do that because i can't stress how good it is so now let's talk about some keybinds i can suggest and then i'll also mention my keybinds and what i'm currently using i want to give a big shout out to marin tm i was in fact watching some of his old videos and it kind of made me want to bring this back up and in his video he actually discussed and suggested the keybinds that i'll show on screen right now so the wall you have on your mouse button your ramp you have on your mouse button which is actually what i currently use his floor is shift his cone as V or alternatively any other bind which can be reached with your thumb. Then is his edit as either E or F and his pickup as scroll wheel which is kind of an unusual one. He also mentioned that these binds are used because it allows constant control of WASD keys which does allow for quick combinations and snappy movement when you're doing things such as a mongol classic or making fast edits in maybe box fights and that's solely because the wall and stair are actually on your mouse and mouse buttons which allows you to focus the main mechanics or pieces you'd usually use for a mongol classic solely on your mouse 
And base just allows you to perfectly set up techniques such as the Mongol Classic, as I've already mentioned. And now this is where I'm going to tell you guys my binds and what I'm using. So I do actually have my wall and stair as my side buttons for my mouse. I do use the Logitech G Pro and these do have side buttons as you can see. So this is what I use for my wall and stair. I do have my edit bind as G, which is a default edit bind. I know many pro players do actually use the edit bind on G. Clicks, who is insane at editing. He's known for his snappy mechanics. I actually does use his edit bind on G. And I do have a 60% keyboard, which makes this more accessible and a little bit nicer to use. I have my pickup as the default, which is also E. I have my reload as R. I do use the normal movement binds, which is W, A, S, D. F is actually my floor. T is my cone. And I have V set to a trap. And they are basically all my building binds. Everything else is kind of self-explanatory. And you can just rework yourself based on the binds I've given you. My binds, I believe, are probably the best optimal key binds you can currently use in Fortnite. I did mention this in my Fortnite settings video. But I have actually been using these key binds since I started playing Fortnite. I started in season three and played all the way to season six on a console. And when I switched from season six to now, which is chapter two, season two, I've been using these exact key binds and haven't went back. They are literally that good and I've progressed so much as a player using them. And that literally does bring me to the end of the video. That is all I wanted to talk about. And all I really wanted to do here is actually discuss my binds, share them to you guys, and maybe you can go out your way and use them. So if you want to use them, you do have to just go back on the video, pause, and just simply copy the binds. They're honestly super good. I can't vouch them enough. And I do highly recommend you guys do just give them a try. They are also super easy to get used to. If you did go ahead to enjoy the video, you did get to this point. I'm surely doing my job right. Dropping a like would really mean a lot. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about these key binds and if you're going to give them a try. Remember, you can subscribe with post notifications turned on if you never miss an upload on the channel. But with that all being said, I hope everyone has a great day. I hope everyone is staying indoors. It's been your boy Farfetch and yeah, peace.